An object shaped as a hemisphere rests nice with its flat surface on the table. The object has a radius that's deep. So it's like a half a circle there. The volume is given to us. Which average pressure does the object exert on the table? Okay, when you see this and you're not sure where to start, think about pressure first. Why is there pressure? You see, this glass sphere is heavy, right? It has some kind of weight pulling it down. I mean, gravitational force pulling it down. So it's heavy, it press on the table. But what's the equation for pressure again? Remember pressure, we have pressure is force per unit area. So you need to remember that this is a round, a 3D object. There's a certain area underneath it. We need to find what the area is. And we need to know the force. What's the force? It's going to be weight, which is our nice M times G. Okay, so we're going to sub that in. And we go pressure equals to Mg over the area of that sphere. Now we are kind of stuck. What is the area? Mm, oh, object has radius R. But miss, that's a different radius. Is it? You see, if that's R, this is also R. So it's like a area of a of a of a of a semi hemisphere or of a circle. So this area will be pi r square. So that would be this light blue r right there. So that's nice. We can sub in pi r square. I'm gonna do that first. Pi r square. Then the mass. They they we we don't know the mass because <laughs> we're gonna sub in mg. So here's the second clue. They give us a volume of, of a sphere. Now, why would they do that? They give us not only volume, they also give us density. So you think of another equation that has density. So density is the mass of this object per unit volume. So a side note here will be the mass. Hmm, density is rho. We need something for mass, right? So we will say mass equals to density times the volume of this thing. This is a hemisphere, means it's a circle chopped in half. So later, you must remember to chop in half. Huh? So the mass, let's write it in the bracket on the right side here. Density is just rho. Okay. Times uh, volume. So we take the volume of a sphere. 4 over 3 pi r cube. But that's a sphere, a whole sphere. Okay, we need to chop it in half. So that will be divided by 2. Times g. There we go. Not very elegant way of writing it, but you just write however we should make sense to you. Okay, so let's uh, divide up our values and see what we get at the end. Pi and pi cancel out. R square and the R cube cancel out. I think that's it. Right? So then we will have 2 over 3 rho g. Am I missing something? Oh, R. Right. Rho R g. Because from 3, cancel out, become R squared. Okay, so the answer should be 2 over 3, rho RG. This is how we find. So no matter what kind of shape they give you, stay calm, force per unit area. Oftentimes, it will might also tie in with density if it's a certain known shape. Sphere, rectangle, triangle, just find the area and you'll be okay. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.